Using the correct scoop size is an essential component when it comes to portion control. Scoops are used for serving product. Do not confuse scoops with measuring spoons used when preparing the product. Distributing proper portion size is an important task for many components of the business depend upon the correct amount of product being served. To keep customers happy, it is important to be consistent when serving portions, but portion control is also vital when it comes to nutritional adequacy, cost control, and ensuring that you have enough product for your event. This is another section where standardized recipes are important. Your recipe should tell you the portion size and the scoop size to use. Keep in mind that the higher the number on the scoop, the smaller the scoop portion will be. So using a scoop that is numbered too high will produce smaller portions and may upset customers, resulting in product being left over, as well as possibly not meeting standards set for nutritional adequacy if it's required. Using a numbered scoop that is too low will provide portions too large, reducing the number of portions available and you may not have enough product to meet your needs. Understanding now that using the proper scoop is important for many reasons, let's go over how the number on the scoop, the scoop size, is determined. Try to remember that the scoop size is the number that is on the scoop and is not the volume that it contains. This is one area where some individuals can become confused. Traditionally, scoop size has been determined by its relationship with a quart size measurement. The number on the scoop reflects the quantity of scoops one can get from a quart of product. For example, a scoop with a number 4 on it will yield 4 scoops from a quart of ice cream. To determine the volume of the scoop, divide 32 by the scoop size. To calculate the volume of our number 4 scoop, we divide 32 ounces, which is 1 quart, by 4 to get 8 ounces. So a number 4 scoop is roughly 8 ounces or 1 cup. Some of the conversions are simple, but when you get up into some of the higher scoop numbers, you will need to know your tablespoon and teaspoon conversions. Some key points to remember at this stage. The scoop number identifies its size, but remain focused more on the fact that it represents how many times it can be used to serve portions out of a quart size container. So the larger the scoop number, the smaller portion it will provide. To figure out the approximate volume of a particular scoop, divide 32 by the scoop number. Also, scoops are not the same as measuring spoons used when preparing recipes. Using the correct scoop number is important for portion control, which is important for maintaining cost, ensuring that you have enough product for your event, ensuring adequate nutrition is being supplied when required, and for the consistency of servings, which will keep customers happy. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Networks LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution in full or in part for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Networks LLC is prohibited. All rights reserved.